The Intertropical Convergence Zone, or ITCZ, pronounced itch, is a major factor in explaining why some areas get humid tropical climates seasonally as opposed to constantly. First, let's clear up a common misconception. It's common to think that the ITCZ is the equator, but this is false. The ITCZ is the name given to the area in the tropics characterized by low pressure. Understanding what causes this low pressure will, in turn, explain how the ITCZ plays a major role in creating rainy seasons for countries like India in one month, then a dry season six months later. To do this, imagine a perfectly centered universe, where the Earth is balanced exactly along its center, with a zero degree axle tilt. The Earth is unaffected by any planetary gravitational pull, so Earth's path around the Sun is perfectly equidistant forever. In this example, the Sun will always focus its solar energy directly and evenly at the equator. This heat will cause the air to expand, become lighter, which will then rise. This rising air will create low pressure, which will encourage cloud formation and produce high rainfall. The areas north and south of the equator will receive the sinking air from the equator, leading to high pressure skies which prevents cloud formation, ultimately leading to low rainfall. If these perfect conditions were constant, this area will always have a wet climate, and this area will always have a dry climate, all year round. The opportunity for seasons wouldn't exist. Now let's add a splash of realism by adding Earth's 23 degree tilt. With this 23 degree tilt, you'll notice that the Tropic of Cancer receives more direct sunlight during the month of July, whereas the Tropic of Capricorn receives more direct sunlight during the month of January. Now, if the intertropical convergence zone is the area of low pressure, and low pressure is created due to the concentration of sunlight, then in July, the ITCZ isn't going to be along the equator. No, it'll be in the north promoting high rainfall. Essentially, because the concentration of sunlight varies per season depending on the position of the Earth in relation to the Sun, so too will the ITCZ vary throughout the year. This creates areas of low pressure and high rainfall that shifts from the Tropic of Cancer to the Tropic of Capricorn. Now for the big picture. We'll start in March, when the ITCZ is along the equator. As the year progresses and the Sun is concentrating more of its energy towards the Tropic of Cancer, so too will the ITCZ move to meet the area of solar concentration, bringing with it high levels of precipitation. Looking at a climate graph from India, you'll notice high levels of rainfall during the month of July as a result. The shift of the ITCZ to the north in July leaves the Tropic of Capricorn lacking the solar concentration it needs for low pressure, which means that high rainfall enjoyed in the north isn't around in the south, so the south will experience a dry season. Moving through the year, the Sun will begin to concentrate its energy towards the Tropic of Capricorn by January, and now the South will experience a rainy season, while the North will experience a dry season. This can be noticed in Indonesia's climate graph, showing high levels of rainfall in January as a result. And now you know how the Intertropical Convergence Zone can create seasonal humid tropical climates by shifting low pressure skies between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. Well done. Thank you for watching. Please support the channel by leaving a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe.